I just want to talk about the good news, Pierce, because I'm Makes tired you know. of the way that the media frames everything. You know what I mean? Because it's like it just makes people think in a certain way, and it makes them think stuff's going on that ain't going on. Mm. So I just want to talk about what is really going on, Pierce, because people don't know. Well, let's we still got over 20 of y'all in here, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. It's been a fire video so far. We're going to keep it going. Make sure to hit the like button. Let's get this up to 20 likes. Get it pushed in the algorithm. means a lot for the channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well, man. Right around the corner from 2000. So go ahead and get with us, man. Set and Key Media. We going up. I certainly think there is a very liberal skewed mainstream media in America, no question. But I'm curious why you don't think the election will actually happen. I mean, it's, 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 it's going to happen, isn't it? I don't think it will happen. I, I think that America is uh, on the verge of something uh, because it's just too... And this is... And... Uh, just as I was saying, this is a very pivotal pivotal point in our country in, in, in the year. Like, everybody now more than ever needs to be informed. So that's why channels like Piers Morgan... Um, commentators like Roseanne Barr, channels and commentator and social commentator, uh, commentators like Set and Key Media are very important. Everybody needs to be informed. And whether you're getting it from over here or over there, large uh, media source or a smaller one like ours, wherever you're getting it from, just make sure that you're informed. You know, they want you to go in not really knowing all the facts, not really knowing all the background, just going off of kind of rumors that you've heard, narratives that are flying around, like, oh, well, I mean, he's a felon. I'm like, why would I vote for him? Like, they want you walking into the polls come November with that mindset, like, not really having done too much research on your own, just kind of heard the narratives that have been at play all year long. Uh, you know, they keep trying to amp up the, uh, um, trying to demonize half the population through the media, and I think they're doing that for a reason. Because maybe, and I think they're bringing in all. And I'll even say this. I'll say something controversial right here and I'll stand on it. Like I said, because I don't really affiliate myself with either, either political side. But I feel like the right has been under attack to a degree. There's certain narratives that have been flying against the rights, you know, painting them as racist, uh, xenophobes, um, even anti-Semitic at a certain point. Like, you know, the conservative right wing movement is kind of under fire, I would say, or in the in the limelight in a negative way and has been for, I would say, the duration of this election cycle. American people ain't going to vote for Biden, so they got to bring in voters from all over the world and they're recruiting them. You know, they're actually flying them from other countries, South America. If you'll like Google it, you'll find out they're fl over 30 year long. Uh, Y'all in here, man. <laughs> I appreciate the support. Roseanne's cooking. Piers is letting her cook. I'm trying to cook up behind her, man. So let's keep this video going. It's been a great one. Uh, let's get the likes up. Uh, let's make sure we can get the likes up, man. This video needs pushing the algorithm, man. More people need to see this shit. It's set in key media, man. Let's go. Well, they're recruiting them in countries south of the border and flying them from there to here to certain districts and then I think they're gonna try to give mass amnesty to them so they can vote for Biden. You know, they're on the payroll. And um, I mean, you know, look, look, I, what I would say are about that, Rosette, look, that and see, you, look, you're saying a lot of. want that? Well, I, I would say this you're saying a lot of things which are not substantiated. I know these are theories that people are putting out there. But the one thing I would say. And I will say again, she is kind of flying off the handle with a lot of these. Really, I see them on Twitter. I'm not sure where she's getting them from, but a lot of these conspiracies or just narratives that kind of fly around uh you know the conservative right and it a lot of it is unsubstantiated a lot of it does kind of have a, a root to hang on so to speak but i i myself like to be careful when i hear these narratives or these conspiracies because a lot of it is unfounded unsubstantiated